So my little review of the Sonic X. Um, I have the previous version, the Sonic in general, uh, the regular one, and this is the X for the Extreme, or the next grade up. Uh, it has a couple different features to it. Love the ergonomics of it. You can actually start to dig in and you know get a good handle on you know when you're pushing deeper or just a little bit lighter using this style versus the original one. A um, couple of the main differences is power buttons on the top as opposed to being the trigger. Um, charger still on the bottom, just like the original Sonic. The only difference is the other the original Sonic you could actually pull the battery out and charge it through the top which in my opinion is a nice feature because if, say you accidentally left this on or you're using it and you forgot to charge it, you could pull the physical battery out, charge it on the other gun and slap a new battery in. So you could purchase new batteries if they had spare batteries to purchase. This one unfortunately does not have that option, but it's not, it's more of a convenience thing, personal preference. Um, trigger, I did like the trigger on the other one just because you could actually push on it and change it on the fly. Or this one you can still change them on the fly but if you're going like this and you know pushing on you have to take your hand off push on it this way again personal preference all the while it's nice and smooth um, all the weights up top um, you can hold on to it for a while without having to physically you know get tired or strenuous uh, the original Sonic had a little bit of a play in the battery because it only had one clip on one side actually this side so if you were finagling it or moving it back and forth it may pop a little bit still held up but it it would just you know give that little loose feeling comes in a nice little handy dandy little case nice and pretty you store all your stuff it's real nice because i can stick this in my suitcase um a couple of my other bags i'm currently traveling right now and everything is housed in one one section you don't have to worry about it comes with four tools you have the high density foam, which is most what most people like to use. You have the bullet style, which I like because it's a little aggressive. Um, actually, it's a lot aggressive, but you can really dig into you know deep knots and work in different areas. Can't really go over the bone too much with this, where you can with the high density foam. So that's one of the reasons why I use this quite a bit. But for deep knots, you can really, really dig deep in if you really need to. The flat. It's real nice. You can work up and down your your main muscles, beat up any of the you know hard knots, the tissues and stuff like that. Works quite well after a workout. A little bit of a before workout, um, but I use normally the high density foam if I really need to like stretch out a little bit, because then I can work on the muscles without you know uh, being too aggressive on them. The fork one is designed from what I've seen at least in the manual for like your spine and working down the areas. I've used it in a couple different areas to be honest. I've used it up and down my arm which is nice because I can get a couple spots where it's, you know, uh, pressure points. Um, I've used it on my chest, mainly the bullet for the chest, but I have used this on my chest so I can try to, you know, get in between different areas, different works, stuff like that. Um, but I have used this on a couple of my friends' backs. They weren't too happy with it, but it worked well. Just with any, like, type of percussion in general, the harder you go, the more it's gonna dig at you, so, it's personal preference on how hard you actually want to push on it. Um, battery life. I haven't really gotten to the point where it's dead yet. I've used it quite a bit. Um, not every day, but a good portion of the days. And let's see. Still at four bars. And I only charged it since mm, two months ago when I got the thing. Comes with multiple speeds. So it's got five speeds on it. Let me turn it off so you can actually see the difference in speeds. So you got speed one. No, just turned it off, sorry. Speed one. Speed two. Three. Four. And five. So you can see this nice in. Digs. Now the higher the percussion, the actual softer the hit. So it doesn't really in my opinion, it doesn't feel like it's digging too deep. The slower you go, the more of an actual feel you get out of it. Uh, I do a wide range of different uh, speeds depending on what I'm working on. When I'm doing the actual flat, I'll do a higher speed so I can try to um, shake up the muscle quite a bit. When I'm using the bullet, I'll range from either the lower 
to get a nice little deep push and harder push versus the high speed where, as you can see, I got it back in my hand. Yeah, it's hitting quite a bit. But as you go with the lower one, you can see how much more of a shake because it's got a little bit of a time in between each percussion hit. Again, all the personal preference. I do use this quite a bit though, because like I said, with uh, weightlifting and things like that, it'll actually break up my muscles or my soreness. It helps greatly afterwards, because then I can actually, if I'm you know, a little sore tender, I can work the muscle a little bit, but a lot for my chest, my back, and my lats, I, I get real bad knots. So it really helps out a lot with that. Other than that, I mean, that's that's the Sonic X in a nutshell. Um, you can see it fits all nice and neat. I just don't have the charger in right now because I have still plugged in the wall. But any other questions, shoot me a message. I might be able to help you. Or if you have any uh, questions on where, you know, what I use it for and things like that.